Welcome to a get ready with me. I'm gonna be all over the place. <laughs> I don't think that's new. This is gonna be a long one, all right? Cause it's been a hot doggone minute. I picked up some new to me makeup that I wanted to try out for you all. And I've got a couple newbies uh, that are releasing with Ofra Cosmetics. So I wanted to play around with those. I've got so much that I want to test out and try out for y'all that you're probably going to see a lot of get ready with me. So <laughs> buckle up. <laughs> Coffee strong all day long, baby. Uh, so I am going to be doing a look with my palette with Over Cosmetics, which is available. And code hot mess is going to save you 20% over there. Um, for my lips. I was gonna use, and I may still use, my, my lip duo, you'll see it back here, but I, I picked this up and it's going viral over on TikTok, um, and I still haven't played with it, so I thought I would try it, so we'll be playing with that. I also picked up on Ipsy, Boxy, you can shop add-ons, I'm so upset I missed Choice, so I have no idea what my choices were, but anywho, I picked up the KVD Good Apple Foundation Balm, I also picked up the Kevin Aquan Ethereal Supernatural Concealer. Let's see, what else do I got here? So I got the new um, Ofra blushes. If you're new here, hi, my name's Rhonda. Welcome to the channel. I I <laughs> I talk a lot. So let's let me um, first and foremost thank my YouTube members. Thank you to those of you who are uh, part of my YouTube member program. I definitely appreciate each and every single one of y'all. Thank you to those of you who do click that thanks button and tip the channel, if you will. Um, welcome to where Rhonda forgets to put everything on silent. There's going to be interruptions. I can guarantee that. My 17-year-old is in there baking a cake. And I actually get to make the icing, so this may be done in increments. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. Oh, you know what? I also picked up the LYS Beauty Contour Stick that Meredith uses over on... I, I talk like I know her, but I don't know her personally. Um, but she uses it over on TikTok. And then I wanted to show you guys the palettes from Ofra. They came out with new midi palettes. And you guys... I got to get a little sneaky peeky when I was down there and look, you all know how much I love cream blushers, okay, and blush in general. So they came out with a beautiful cream blush, a powder blush, and then like a topper, blush topper, highlight, whatever you want to call it. And you can use Cotton Hot Mess, save yourself 20% on this. So this is the Cotton Candy Skies palette, and I am so excited. Uh, I, I told them when I was down there, I'm like, please more cream products. Please just keep giving us the cream products because I feel like for me, and let's not, let's, we're going to ignore my wonderful tan lights, okay? <laughs> we were down at the lake this weekend, and, well, I mean, my sunscreen worked or the way I positioned myself. Uh, my neck got nothing, so that's fun. Uh, this is the Sunset Dreams palette, and I love that they did this. It's like very warm tones, or you could choose very cool tones. Same thing, cream blusher, powder blusher, and then you have the topper. They are so absolutely beautiful. And you can use one of their, well, I just went and washed mine, but here's another clean one. You can use whatever you want to apply it, whether you do your fingers, what have you. But these are available, actually, by the time you guys see this video, they are going to be available. And they've got the two different shades to choose from, and they are $35 a piece, but under that if you use my coupon code. So let's go ahead and start off. I, for my sunscreen, I love using the Arboreum CC Red Correct. So, as we see, your girl. Okay, so it's my fault. It is totally my fault. Well, I woke up in the morning, and I put my sunscreen on, like I caked it, I lathered it, you know? And went about my day, went down to the lake, and apparently went like, gone like a fart in the wind forgot to apply pretty much anything on me until one of my kids was like mom you look like you're burning and i was like wait what <laughs> no hat i mean i did the big no no like my esthetician's gonna be like what's wrong with you and i'm like i don't know i was just so excited i mean to me you guys know how much i love the beach well the lake is like the beach to me so Anyways, um, I like to use the Arboreum 
CC Red Crab. Uh, you know what? Here's the dealio, guys. I'm going to go ahead and just have everything linked and listed down below for y'all. If I can make it affiliates, I'm definitely going to. I do like to bring this down my neck. Is that multitasking? Talking, multitasking. I probably have chia seeds in my mouth or my teeth. I've never tried the KBD. I got it in medium 54. Not even sure if this is going to be my shade. This says it's a lightweight, full coverage, natural finish, apple extract to help hydrate. Definitely going to be good for sure. This Aborium stuff, you guys, I literally will just use this on my, on the own on my own on its own and I will sometimes put like maybe some blush on here like if I'm really wanting to go more on the natural side I love using the euphoria blushers because they're really lightweight it's really nice I guess I stuck my finger in it but I don't know yeah I did okay wow it does kind of just melt okay I think it might match it doesn't really matter it's fine Will I sport shades that don't match my face? Yes. For my brush, I'm going to just use my BK Beauty 101 brush. And I'm going to go right in. Do I want to? No, wait. Yeah. Yeah. Right away, it feels real nice and light. Which I do appreciate. I'm going to take it down my severely discolored neck. Okay, so the coverage is really nice too. And I didn't pay full price because I got it on... I'm just going to call it Ipsy because you know how Boxy and Ipsy merged and just confused the heck out of all of us and pretty much ticked us all off because, like, confusion. I'm not good with change. Um, but anyways, I think I only paid, like, $12 for this. Maybe it was the 18 Maybe it's not matching. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Oh, my poor neck. So I will sunless tan tomorrow. Um, and kind of fix the situation. I got a lot of stuff going on right here. Um, but, and if you are curious, the sunless tanner that I have been using this season is the Bondi Sands Technicolor. So here's what I'm figuring out that I've done wrong all my life when it comes to sunless tanners. I do this thing where I like to think that I am, which I mean, when I tan, I do tan up pretty well, okay? But I think I go into no, to denial once I lose my tan of how pale I actually am. So I just automatically would buy the the deepest su sunless tanner possible. So then I just looked a little crazy, you know, because it didn't match. Well, this techno color one that I picked up with Bondi Sands, it's nice because it somehow matches to you and it gets like the perfect undertone and you take a quiz for it and I have to say the quiz has been spot on uh, so it did like an olive undertone which is definitely like when I tan that's what I do I've kind of got like the neutrally olive tone anyways I've been using that and I have played around with it you can like let it dry and like for about 20 minutes and if you want to put another layer on you can what I'm loving about it I'm gonna go in with this Kevin Kwan guys um, what I love about it is the fact that it's not like as it fades it doesn't blotch my skin out it doesn't give me the crocodile skin or anything like that I'm able to use like my boom boom creams or my Sol de Janeiro like lotions and I'm not having any like breakup or anything it's been really nice so I'm really really happy with it because in the past I've had a lot of issues with it like splotching out dry, and like drying out my skin and everything and I'm not at all having that issue. <laughs> cool. It's oxidizing. Love that for me. We're it's fine. When it comes down to it, we're just pretty much going to just test the formula. I mean, you can see it oxidizing, guys. So this the Supernatural Concealer, you know, I probably shouldn't even be letting it sit. It's a silky weightless medium coverage concealer. It's supposed to blur imperfections for a demi satin flawless finish. Definitely changed, but it's, it's okay. It's all right. We just roll with it tonight. I mean, that is a huge ch change. I think this was like a $12 concealer. Oh, I shouldn't have let it sit. Oh, great. I'm going to come back and do an affordable get ready with me too. Which, honestly, I feel like this is affordable because I got half this stuff, like, really inexpensive. Huh. Okay, I want to see. I want to see something real quick. What did I just do with it? Um, because I got everything at sale. Wow. 
now I remember why I kind of stopped doing so many get ready with me is because I can't get a sentence out and put makeup on at the same time. Okay, I definitely like doing it with my finger more coverage wise and appearance wise, but it's definitely too dark. What are you doing a little bit? Should I respray the pan or yeah. clean it out? I clean it out and then respray it before you put more in. I do like the way it looks. I wish I hadn't let it dry down, but I think it, it I think we can get away with it a little bit. A little bit, can we? Can we? I do have to film other stuff today. Coverage wise, it says it's a medium coverage, right? I don't know. I think it's it's nice. Um it's not caking, which is good. I don't know, we'll see. I'll just leave it. I won't I don't want to layer it because at my age, if I layer too much, it's going to be a whole situation up in here. So let's go ahead and move over to the LYS Beauty. This is the No Limits Cream Bronzer Stick. I did pick up this shade Harmony, which was a medium shade. I feel like I'm going to just love this, to be honest with you guys, because I've tried a lot of the LYS products out and I've really enjoyed them. Oh, wow. It's just as creamy as it seems like on TikTok. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I will go ham sandwich with this, I can guarantee. You know, another contour stick that I really like, you know, I've already screwed up. Normally I do concealer, oh well, um, is the Rare Beauty. I got the Rare Beauty contour stick and I really enjoy that one. I don't really know what I'm doing. I just really like the way the formula feels. Okay. Yeah, I can already tell just by the way that formula feels. It's good. All right, going in with my blinged brush. Actually, this medium shade, I like the shade a lot too. I probably, in the winter time, I would probably have to get a lighter shade for sure. Which, same with the Rare Beauty, my Rare Beauty shade. If you guys are on the fence, I would say go for it. Um, I got Happy Soul, which is probably really similar to that. Really like that formula too. I feel like this one might be a little bit creamier, the LYS. A little bit more hydrating, um, but either way, I like both. I did just pick up, I've got an order from Sephora coming in, and I want to try the Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer, because I feel like in the summertime, like, when it's, how many times can I say like? Like, girl, get it together. Says it again. Um, but when it's like date night and stuff, <laughs> I like to have like sometimes let's reboot that okay reboot girl but I like to have sometimes a full coverage foundation but this blends out beautifully so if you have ipsy or boxycharm and you shop add-ons or whatever they call it nowadays I don't know I forget this is all starting to blend together it was a trust the process I would say pick this up I will be going back in there and picking up a lighter shade for the winter time because I really like that. If you, by the way, this is Blinged Brushes, code Hot Mess does save you 10%. This is the Ice Queen collection. I have the Paige Corinne uh, collection, uh, well, the extended collection. Love that. But I really love the 3D. I don't know what this collection is. It may not even have a name. Um, and then in the back, I don't think you can see it. Um, I don't use it too often because it's really pretty in pink, but they have, that may be Paige's original collection. I'm not for sure. But anyways, I really love the bling brushes. They're really good. I do need a little bit smaller on my nose. Let's use the contour. Oh yeah. Definitely pick up the LYS guys. I Like I was telling y'all, it was like $12 I think. It was much less expensive than if you get it at Sephora. So I went ahead and snagged it. Um, kind of taking a risk, you know, with it being ipsy, because it's not like you can return it like you can at Sephora, but I think it worked out, and you know what? This concealer is working out. It's, I think it's working out pretty well. I mean, I've got wrinkles and crinkles, but psha, that's life, girl. All right, so as far as these midi palettes, I just think these are so flipping cute, and honestly, the pink is really speaking to me, but so is, so is the sunset one. So I, I'm going to probably just let's do both right why not i don't know oh it's so pretty and orangey and then let's do i love cream blushers so much what if we did like an ombre let's do that i think that'll be really pretty i love those colors and then let me swatch 
the powders for y'all. Oh, and these shimmers. Look at that. Oh my goodness. These are so pretty. Okay. These are absolutely gorgeous. I am so excited. I want to I want to somehow incorporate all of this onto my face today. So we're going to figure it out. I'm going to start with the sunset cream which I think is called Orange Sky. I Okay, so here's the thing. If you picked up my palette, the way I had it put on here versus like, see how it's laid out like this, which is good, which is nice if you know like the names. But here they say top row. <laughs> top row starts off sweet and sassy because it, it literally goes left to right. I need that in my life. <laughs> the original like I can't I can't do this because to me I will overanalyze it I will overthink it and I'll be like well I don't get it I, I don't I don't know is it this side or this side is it your left or my left like talk about overthinking so yeah you'll notice on my label it's completely different than a lot of the other pilots you'll see out there because <laughs> I needed that left to right I needed you guys to break it down for me so yeah when it says sweet and sassy, it starts like here and goes like that. So I, I don't really know what shade name I'm using right now other than it's the cream blush from the sunset one. I'm going to use my brush in this depending on what you want. Like if you want more, go with your finger. If you want less, you can use your sponge. I don't know, but I always use uh, my brush and I just tap in and then tap on. Oh, that is so You did this, Oprah. I'm so proud of them. I told him, I was like, can we get some bronzers? I would like some cream bronzers. <laughs> She's like, Rhonda, calm down. I'm like, can I? These, you guys know I fell in love with their cream blushers that came out, the trio. I love those. And the nice thing about their, their cream blushers is you can build them up if you want a little bit more coverage or you can go sheer with them if you're doing like a no makeup makeup kind of day. So like I showed you guys the Euphoria, if you want a little bit more coverage, add some of their blushers on here, you will be so happy. I'm gonna do my nose with it as well because the sun was hitting your girl everywhere, so why not? So I wanna add the warmth to my face, but then I also wanna come back in with the cool. So I'm gonna go in with the cotton candy one because it's. So I'm going to just use the same brush and I'm going to hit like here with it and then let it kind of gradiate up pretty much where I naturally have red that I cover and then come back in and add it. <laughs> hit my nose that is so pretty now if you want to go heavier one thing with their blushes you definitely can do that like I said everything will build up blend out beautifully and I love that I haven't even set my face yet so I can feel that the apple KVD apple whatever is kind of on the tacky side so I, I'm gonna go ahead and lightly set my face. I'm not gonna go crazy heavy on the powder. So I am gonna go in with my Timu powder. This is my favorite powder that I put under my eyes. This is the MAC Andy number 12. I do have a coupon code with uh, Timu as well. It'll save you 30% off your first order, but if you've already placed an order over there, it's not gonna work. Um, but AFF2950 is an affiliate code with them, but this powder for me is just absolutely so stunning. I'm using a wet beauty blender uh, just to kind of really push it in there. I'm getting any excess, but it's the real light pink shade. And you, as you guys see, my skin will oxidize things like very easily. And even with powders. I don't have that issue with the MAC Andy powder. You get a ton of it for like eight bucks. I love this stuff. This stuff's amazing. Like y'all, matter of fact, the first time I showed it to you guys, sold it out. It's that good. I kid you not. And then I think what I'm gonna do is go in with the lighter shade of MAC Andy. Again, I'll have it all linked down below for y'all. This is in 20. This is a very, very fine powder and it's got a little bit of a tint to it. So I'm going to go ahead with the same damp beauty blender and just kind of press that into my skin. But this is like micro fine powder. It is so nice. 
will not does not make my skin look heavy or anything now i don't really feel like it does like super super crazy blurring when it comes to my large pores on the side but you guys can see it it looks nice sorry about my my I, my camera is crooked i think everything is honestly pulling together really well between the concealer the foundation the discolorations all right let's jump back in to these i love these so flipping much okay i want to i want to add a little bit more i think i'm going to do the same thing um i'm going to go back over like because typically i would have set but i'm going to go back over with the cream and put a little bit more on here kind of I feel like cream really brings your skin back to life and then if you want you can go over with the powder but I want to I want to keep adding some of the cream because the cream is just so pretty and I love mixing you guys know I love to mix so beautiful okay so let's go ahead and start with the powders so with the powders I'm gonna go in with the sunset palette first and real lightly because you know the pigmentation is there so I'm gonna tap some off on the back and then oh, I cleaned my brush and it smells so good <laughs> I mean look at that I barely tap the pigmentation of Ofra's blushers are crazy they're so good I love this and then I'm gonna jump back do you need both in your life no no not at all <laughs> look at that tapping adding Oh, that is so pretty. I went a little ham sandwich. It's okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is so gorgeous. All right. And then let's go ahead and do the toppers. Honestly, I kind of want to mix them, but I won't. So just so I can show you guys. So let's go in first with the sunset. I love this beautiful corally orange. I'm going to tap the brush a little. That is, that's really warm on my skin tone. Very pretty. Honestly, you could even mix these two together and come up with a beautiful, like, shimmery, because you can see the radiance coming through. I am going to go ahead and top it with a cotton pan. Ooh. That is just so pretty. <laughs> rosy cheeks okay and if it's a little too much for you it's okay just get a floofy brush press it in calm it down all is good in the hood i love that that is so pretty now you could create a similar look with just one of them i just like to be extra waffle need more coffee I'll be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and put my brows on for y'all and then I'll come back to do my eyeballs. Okay, so I went ahead, filled, are you focused? Okay, so I went ahead and filled in my brows. Uh, I had a pencil, It Cosmetics had sent over. So I put some of that on and then they also sent over their brow powder filler. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some of that on uh, judgment free drama free stress free zone they're not even remotely related they're neighbors that really don't enjoy each other okay yeah so I don't know what it is I feel like they are definitely never I don't think in my life ever symmetrical with makeup without makeup they're just not so if you guys are curious about this this is in universal taupe and i like it i mean my hair is mostly dark with a little bit of blonde in there so yes i have not gotten my roots done in forever and i'm totally okay with it all right so let's go ahead for my lashes i actually have on um the is it kiss yes the kiss lashes to if you are curious my lash extensions are just the little stick-ons that last like a week for my eyeballs you know what y'all i have been like as much as i love the gerard cosmetics clean canvas eye base i love that i think that is amazing but if you are feeling lazy like your girl has been for a while now i just go right into my palette with whatever is on my lids and the ofra 
it just they're so good they last you don't have an issue so i'm gonna go ahead and mix soulmate and fam bam together those are my like two colors that i always mix together and just go right in go ahead and tap it and then i just kind of tap tap dab dab right onto the lid this is like my perfect everyday kind of eyeshadow if you are curious this is still part of the ice queen collection with blinged brushes i would love to do a collection with bling brushes I love their brushes so much and then I take a little underneath the eye as well and I kind of extend it out just a little bit whatever's left on there and kind of after I've packed it on with the tap tap dab dab I lightly kind of circular motion these shades together and I love it and then I'm gonna hop into mom life this is a shade I guarantee I will be hitting pan very quickly on because it's the brightener it's the one for all the moms or everybody out there who is tired who is sleepy and needs to fake it to make it baby you just go in with this shade I plop that in the inner corners up through here to soften everything it's kind of your cheat cheat way to go ahead and uh, blend and then I will put a little bit down here on the eye soften that up as well see it's just the easy peasy look i remember in the 90s everyone would say back then because i had like all blonde hair that i looked like Haley from all my children well i never watched all my children i always watched like days of our lives and sometimes general hospital back in the day and i didn't know who this Haley person was over on all my children turns out it was kelly ripa because i guess back in the AOL AOL days I like AOL searched who is this person and sure enough it was Kelly Ripa and I loved her makeup loved it was literally this kind of eye look very like simple natural kind of I rolled out of bed and I looked like this you know what I mean kind of look if I can find an old school picture minus the eyebrows but it, back then I wanted the eyebrows too let's be honest but anyways um and it was funny because when I was creating my palette I I was making my looks and everything and I thought you know this was the look that I always wanted and I did it like wow you know full circle moment did any of that make sense probably not I don't know back into mom life but you see, Mom Life just kind of lightens everything up. You need it in the inner corners, whoopity bam bitty boom I got you. You can do that. I am going to do a little bit of Sweet and Sassy on the lid. Nice thing with the Sweet and Sassy is you just put it on and you just, all you do is tap. Tap it right on. If you want a little bit more payoff, you can use a brush. You can wet the brush. All of Ofra's powder products can literally be wet use wet or dry just depending on what you want to do I wanted to give you guys as much versatility as possible when it came to creating the palette and it makes my heart so happy to hear like the reviews you guys are leaving the comments you guys are leaving for me as well saying like this has become your go-to palette this is the palette you take with you on vacay and everything and I'm like yes. same girl same like this is literally like all I need I, I get so excited when you guys are leaving those comments telling me that because like that that was my goal that's what I wanted I wanted our lives are already you know crazy and chaotic enough like you don't want to be overwhelmed when you're packing you know because we're already gonna be overwhelmed we're packing for our whole family I am gonna go in with and I got you guys something that will work so you guys know I love the makeup geek nude shade okay so unfortunately makeup geek is no longer around but if you get the benefit highbrow i use this as well i use this on my waterline and then on my tight line i just go in and i'm gonna be really sad because i don't think i can find this anymore the easy on the eyes sugar by tart this does not bleed all right i've tried other ones and they bleed on me meaning like they'll come down in my crease or they'll go into the inner corner i don't have that issue with this one so when i test my eye liners that's what i look for i don't want it to bleed down onto my nude shade i don't want it to bleed out into the corners nothing so the only ones that don't do that that i found is the tart oh you know what the urban decay one is very good too that does not do that on me i'll keep looking for y'all i'll keep looking um 
for a black that does that because I always put a black on my tight line to kind of make the roots of my lashes look thicker. Let me go ahead and do that. I know it freaks some people out, so I'm not gonna make y'all watch. Ready? Get a sip of coffee. Don't look at the screen. Dude, I got to moisturize these lips. Holy moly. They are dry and crusty. Give me a second. I'm gonna exfoliate them. Oh, so much better. Okay, so this that I used with Valley Bomb, and that came in, I don't know, boxy, ipsy, crooked. Love that for us. Look, we're not trying to be professional here, <laughs> ever. Look, I tried. Like, if you go and you watch my Ofra video on Ofra's channel, that was a lot of hot takes, let me just tell you. That was a lot. But I kept it together. I... I really did and then I made my video and I was like <laughs> whole dog on mess but you know you get what you get over here and you don't throw a fit all right I did forget to really run to that fast you lost it huh that fast and then I am gonna go back in to my palette mix those two colors and add a little bit more like with this detail brush I mean, it's probably not a detailed brush. It's part of the uh, Paige Crin E44. I'm calling it a detail because I'm getting a little detailed with it. There. Boom. And then I wanted to try this Long Lasting Rose Lip. Since we're kind of doing a natural look as it is, all you're supposed to do is, I don't know, apparently goo it onto your lips. Do I need to? I, I always line my lips. Do I not line them? I feel like there's a rose scent. Oh my goodness. So you apply it, you let it dry, and then you peel it off. So there's definitely a rose scent, FYI. Now I just sit like this. Oof, looks like teeth look yellow. Oh, I wanted coffee. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've been sitting here. <laughs> playing like a two-year-old like it's Elmer's glue on my lips so I'm falling off my seat hold on a second anybody else do their makeup crisscross applesauce just me <laughs> okay so it's drying and then you peel it off oh it doesn't hurt either oh so it's like a lip sting honestly that's not bad. Oh wait, I got some in the corners. That's disgusting. Probably should have let it dry a little longer. Okay, so if you like a stained look, it's kind of cute. <laughs> it is kind of cute. Luckily, it like has a blue undertone. Does it come off? Yeah, it comes off a little bit. Okay, I have just, my, I think my lips are a little too dry, but it is kind of fun. For me, I could see wearing this, I don't know how long it'll last, but I kind of like it in like a no makeup, makeup kind of way, you know, but I don't know what I, I need to, I have to line my lips. So I am going to go ahead and go in with my Drug Cosmetics Ecstasy. Thanks to those of you who told me it was on Ipsy's add-ons. I'm going to line my lips. I don't think this color is gonna work for me today. Have I literally had a chia seed in my mouth that whole time? Well, welcome to the channel. I'm gonna go in with my lippy from Ofra Cosmetics. This is in Hot and Saw and just cover it right up. Yeah, I, I definitely like that better. Another thing that I'll do is I go in with a deeper lip liner. Oh, one thing I wanted to tell you guys. The, the Koki Professionals Mauve Nude, I've been putting that on and then going in with a berry shade, which is not available at Ofra right now. I don't know if it's coming back their lip liner, but it's literally in the shade Plum, which is a very common lip liner color, but I normally mix. So let's think of it this way. If you have Sugar and Spice and I'm trying to Bel Air, from Drug Cosmetics, you can mix these two together and get the look that I'm talking about. 
which I think I'm gonna do that because I've been kind of going with like a hint of a 90s liner look no I don't want to have to shop in here yet I've been liking more of like a darker lip line and then I go in with plum over top and love it <laughs> and then I think I'll do a little bit of butterfly kisses right in the center this is my first one and I'm literally scraping the sides I use it so much I know a lot of us love that fuller lip look and you can do that plus this is beautiful as a blush I know a lot of you all have picked it up to use it as a blush as well it's a multitasker y'all know but yeah I like to overline my lips a little bit and then go in with this top it with butterfly kisses and my lips look full and juicy do I have lip filler yes okay calm down I do I don't deny it okay I don't deny it but I definitely make them look a lot fuller than they are um, and I love it. This is like the perfect combo. Anywho, that is, I guess, the look. I am going to finish off with some of my Slate All Day Setting Spray. This one is in, I don't know what scent. Is it cucumber? I don't know, but I like it. I think it's cucumber. It smells really good. Uh, actually, Gerard Cosmetics has a sale coming up. Just FYI. All right, let's talk about everything that I put on today. I see, to me, this is like a good natural kind of look and I like it I'm gonna have to take these off though they really done been through it anywho let's talk about what I'm surprised with I honestly let me zoom you guys in so you can see my face my battery's dying wonderful so I really really love the way this KVD apple balm looks on my skin it doesn't look cakey doesn't look heavy I mean for the color I don't care that it's a little off I mean I think we made it definitely work I like the way it feels just setting it with a thin powder worked just fine the LYS bronzer stick absolutely I love that I'm honestly surprised what did I just do with it my battery started flashing and I started to panic. The Kevin Aquan concealer, even though it oxidized, I mean, you can see it, it's definitely, anything and everything is gonna get into your fine lines, okay? So, it's in the fine lines, but I don't think it looks god awful. It doesn't look dry and cakey and crusty, which is something that is very important to me to not have. Um, but I really, honestly, I like it, and I'll probably just go back and get a lighter shade if I can find it. As far as these midi palettes go, freak yeah, hold on. We're, now we're a little too close. There we go. Oh, it was a little too much. As far as these mini palettes go, I love them. You guys know when it comes to Ofra Cosmetics, blushers, their highlighters, their cream blushers, it's a yes for me. So I love the way everything looks and nothing is sticky, nothing is tacky, well, other than my lips. Uh, so yes. Now this is one of those fun kind of gimmicky things in my opinion. Like it's definitely probably nothing that I'm going to reach for very often um, maybe on those no makeup kind of days like say we're going down to the lake or something and I just want to wash a color then I might reach for this I don't know just to have that stain and then of course y'all know I love her I love her so if you haven't picked her up okay but like maybe you want to Okay, can't hot mess. Uh, and then of course my lip duo, you can get the bundle where you can get both the lip, the liquid lippy and the lip gloss, whatever. Um, but code hot mess will save you money on that. I'll have everything that I showed you in today's video linked and listed down below. I still have the Koki Cosmetics uh, blushers that I wanted to show you guys, but I was more excited over these to BH. <laughs> So, anyways, but yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised with the KVD. I know that this went viral last year. I do see why, and I will definitely be picking more up. It's very, very comfortable on my skin. I don't know, honestly, how long I'm going to last, but to be real with y'all, it's not like I have my makeup on for like 12 hours a day either, so I don't know. Hey y'all, so I thought I would do a little update. I just finished filming um, on my vlog channel, a try on haul and some reels. So I wanted to update you guys on the KVD at Bad Apple. It's 421 and I filmed putting everything on at 10, 9.30, 10. We're gonna go with 10. So it's been a decent amount of time. Typically what, what time I would wear my makeup. Um, I didn't use my one size powder, which I typically 
do if I want things to last for a long time. So that being said, I still like it. Oh, this lip stain. It was so funny. My husband's like, is that your lip combo that you created? I'm like, yeah, honey, forgetting that he's like, it looks darker than normal. I forgot the lip stain was on there. So the lip stain flipping lasts. <laughs> So does the lippy, but um, yeah, even with having the lip gloss on, I'm like, holy guacamole. So anyways, as far as the overall wear of it, I like it still. I still say yes to the concealer and to the foundation balm, but tomorrow I'm going to try it. Well, actually, I'm going to be testing out a different foundation, but in the future when I do it again, I'm going to use my one size powder and have a little bit fuller coverage because I feel like my T-zone is getting very, um, yeah. So that's my little update. Anyways, friends, that is all for today's Get Ready With Me. I'd like to say it was a quick one, but yeah, now your girl can talk. Anyways, I have to go film on my other channels, Hot Mess in the Kitchen. I've got a Timu haul that I'm gonna unbox over there. I've got my Thrive Market, I got a grocery haul, I got lots to do. And then of course, on my other channel, Hot Mess Mama Vlogs, where I do a lot of curvy girl fashion hauls over there. I've got a Walmart haul that I hope to film today for you guys, so you guys will be seeing that in the next few days. So so anywho, thank you once again to my YouTube members for helping to support the channel. You don't have to, but you choose to, and I appreciate you all. Thanks to those of you who are tipping the channel. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And check me out on TikTok and Instagram, at HotMessMama4. All information will be down in my description box. Thank you guys bunches and bunches for chilling with me. And until next time, as always, kisses from Kentucky. Bye, friends. magic feeling we tore down my walls. Wish I could go back to right before you told me I'd try to change it all. But look at us now, could have gone so far. It hurts to breathe.